Bob Birdsong, OK Generators. I'm going to take a minute to talk about the different types of generators that you're going to run into out there. Now, people want generators for their houses, and that's fine. And, and some of these houses with the wine inventories and art and aquariums and things right now really need these things. But residential uh, generators are not built to the same standards that commercial and industrial generators are. They have their own section, their own code, and National Electric Code that deals with optional generators. And they're not required to have the same things that industrial and commercial generators are. And uh, residential generators are not required by law to be professionally maintained. Whereas NFPA 110, which is our the, the rules for legally required generators, requires you to have a, a maintenance program in place. Now think about it. a lot of people say they want to save money and they're going to have their maintenance guy maintain their generator. The liability that opens you up to, because he's not trained in this piece of equipment, because he's not trained in generator maintenance, is immense. So just the liability, and I've seen this happen a hundred times where condominium owners will sue themselves, in effect, by suing their association because the generator were, uh, broke down because it wasn't being properly maintained. You are required by law to have a functioning generator if it's legally required. Required by law to have a functioning generator. If it goes down, you need to have one there in its place. And you're required to have a maintenance program in place. And if you ever want to look at NFPA 110 and see what it says about it, call our shop at 1-800-385-3187 and we'll forward you a copy of what it says. I think you'll be surprised. <music>